hello and welcome to my channel this reading is for those of you that have strongly capricorn in your chart sun moon rising venus and jupiter for august 2020 please have in mind that this is a general reading so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you if you're interested in a personal reading all the information you need is down there below in the description box okay capricorn let's see You are making the decision. Sorry, it's very windy. You are making a decision here, okay? I'm really getting that you are making the decision to go out there. Let's see. Capricorn. Long overdue decision. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Could be regarding your stability, your home, your marriage, your relationship, your career. Yeah, it could be many things. Capricorn. Two more shuffles for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Jupiter for August 2020. Trying to do my best because, yeah, it's very windy. <clears throat> so, one more. I just heard, and of course, this is not for all of you. Someone is making the decision here to make things official. Okay? Let's see. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. Someone is also making the decision to budge. Yeah. First card for you is the Death card. The King of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. The Lovers. <laughs> Okay, the Eight of Swords. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> the Six of Cups. I'm telling you, okay, someone here is waking up, realizing who you are, or you, Capricorn, are realizing how much this person means to you okay the page of cups maybe you were involved with someone that was like Maybe this connection was like sexual based or maybe in the past you had people around you like connection with people that were like friends with benefits. Maybe you are in that kind of connection with someone like, you know, friends with benefits, but it's getting deeper. Mm. Start. Or maybe this is what you're wishing for. Maybe they are wishing for that. Depends, you know. Take it as it resonates. But, you know, what I mean? Seeing this energy here, like the Nine of Pentacles with the lovers, 
it's like someone is being single, but then again, you, you understand what I mean? And this is maybe the choice. The lovers is a choice. Are we gonna stay friends with benefits? Is this going to like um, remain a sexual based connection? Or are we going to move this forward? Is this going to, you know, upgrade? Is this connection going to move forward? So there is a decision here. That is going to be made. A lot of decisions and a lot of choices, a lot of letting go, a lot of surrendering in August for yeah, all of us. Well, yeah. Well, someone here is wishing and hoping for a commitment. Four of Swords. Like, they're really like sleeping on it, thinking about it. Thinking about it. <laughs> for quite some time. So, yeah. This person here is getting clarity, as I said earlier, what you mean and who you are. Vice versa, okay? The choice. Decision. Truth is going to come out. Someone is ready to take action here. Someone is speaking their truth. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm also hearing, okay, it could be a group out there that have, yeah, you have a friendship that, you know, it's like romantic feelings are kicking in here and you cannot hide it anymore or they can't, you know. The King of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. Someone was afraid to speak the truth. This could be also you. Like maybe you were afraid to tell this person how you truly feel that you want more but is there's no no there's no more like holding back you are at this point in your life that holding back is not a choice it's like you feel that you are missing out again i'm getting this feeling of you know okay i have you know i have to speak my truth i have to take this step to speak my truth and i'm open even uh to rejection because it's like you understanding that if you are going to be rejected that you will be able to move on yeah page of pentacles the devil Capricorn energy, the hermit, you see what I mean? I'm getting, it could be, yeah, yeah, that you were like sleeping on it, thinking about it, like, you know, and you were just not speaking. You were not, you were not speaking your truth. You were not opening your heart to this person, you know, telling them how you truly feel and what you want from them. And it's like you were settling for less. And this became a burden. Like this was really like weighing you down. This is also with the two of pentacles juggling, you know, what should I do? Should I just keep my mouth shut? You know, again, I'm getting because of fear that you are going to be rejected here. Yeah, this is coming to an end Capricorn. I'm very happy for you because yeah, no matter the outcome, it's totally towards your benefit. This is your victory. Speaking your truth is your victory. Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups. You're opening your heart. As for the past, you know, you were very, like, reserved. Or 
maybe this, maybe someone was doing this to you, Capricorn. You see what I mean? Maybe you were dealing with someone that was not opening their heart. They were not speaking their truth. But they will very soon, okay? Worried. How am I going to do this? How am I going to... Oh, That's your energy again. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Wands, you see? Battle within. Should I speak? Should I keep my mouth shut? Sorry if I'm repeating. Ace of Wands. There's going to be a new beginning here. As soon as you open your heart and speak your truth, there's going to be a new beginning. But you have to make that step. And I feel that you will. Because it's like you cannot handle this silence anymore, this holding back. I'm getting that someone here is going to be shocked, you or the other person. Seven of Swords. They're going to be shocked because this, this, this was hidden. This, like, this energy of wanting more was hidden. It was hidden. This was hidden. Someone was hiding this. There's going to be a proposal to level up, level up. Five of Swords, that's the fear. That's the fear. That's the fear of rejection. Nine, you're getting the Nine of Cups here. <laughs> and the Magician. You see what I mean? This is manifestation. You have manifested this outcome all this time in, this, in silence. It's time to speak. It's time to offer your cup. Your cup is like, okay, oh wow, okay. Your cup is overflow, overflowing. I, I, I just saw like a fountain of, 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 of clear, fresh water with rose petals. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but I am. Page of Wands. You have nothing to lose. You are going to gain by speaking your truth. You always will gain if you are true to yourself. The moon. This is the hidden part. Yeah? This is the, 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 the hidden communication. This was not communicated. Those strong feelings, the desire... Holding back your feelings, your emotions, your truth. Okay, I'm repeating now. But there, there is a vision. You have a vision for the future. And if this person is not willing to give you what you deserve and what you want, you will be able to move forward. And this is what you are realizing. That's why your fear is disappearing. Because you're trusting yourself and the universe, yeah, ten of cups, this is your future, this is what you want, this is what you see for your future, and I'm getting that a lot of you are going to get this energy with this person, so, speak up, don't hold back, okay, and again, I'm telling you, this could be someone opening their heart to you, Capricorn. Let's see what message will come through from the Whispers of Love for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter 
for August 2020. I'm also getting strongly that, you know, your North Node is also very important. So, okay, the heart of the matter, there is more going on than, meet, that, than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. This is the hidden energy. Two, two. Two and two is four, yeah? This is so beautiful. And this is not yet seen. I don't know if, you, I don't know if it's going to focus. I don't think it will. But this is coming out. It's coming out. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what's your advice from Spirit for August 2020. You'd be surprised. You know, maybe this person also feels the same way, but they were also holding back. Mm. Did you think about that? Okay, Capricorn. 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 Play. <laughs> Self-care includes having fun. Are you playing enough, darling? Do you have enough free time or are you booked to the minute? Life goes by so damn fast. Make sure to have a blast along the way. Play connects us to our childlike curiosity and zest. When life feels too serious, toss aside your to-do list and make room for the stuff that turns you on. Go to the movies, have an adult slumber party, swing at the playground. You're never too old to wee. <laughs> Let the fine shine in and live a little or a lot. This is also the playful energy. I want to pick one more from the, for this, for Capricorn, please. I'm getting the, you know, maybe it's not, you, like, don't be so serious. This is what I'm getting. Don't take everything too serious. Like, be more, like, lighthearted. You are awesome. Well, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. And this is what you have to acknowledge. You, or you are acknowledging, like, realizing this let me see your greatest relationship is the one you have with yourself uh, build it strengthen it praise yourself share what makes you proud your beaming de delight will help others shift from glass half empty thinking to heck i'm pretty awesome too i don't know i'm getting that I'm getting that both of you want the same thing, but no one is speaking up. That's what I'm getting, really. Okay. Let's see what your is. What's your spiritual message in August? Okay, Capricorn. Let's see. Okay, we have receiving watermelon tourmaline. Release yourself to the magnificence of co-creation. Even before you have asked, you receive. Even before you want, you are the answer to your prayers. Receiving is giving and together we rejoice in all that we receive from each other. I'm getting it, I'm telling you. Yeah? Okay, and we also have confidence here. It takes courage to put your butt on the line and go for it. And the best way to strengthen your confidence is to put yourself out there. Who cares what other people think? Everybody, everybody starts somewhere. And don't worry about making mistakes. 
you can always curse correct, but you'll never know or grow unless you try. And then, and the more you do, the more confident and successful you'll become. When you shine, we are all inspired to do the same. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, this is what I got for you. If this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter, and your North Node, okay? <laughs> Bye. Bye.